We made it, we're in our house. So we closed on Monday the 29th and had the keys at 2.30. Time for a house tour. I'm gonna start with doing the outside in the garage and then part two will be the inside of the house. So we're in the Inspirata Plan community. We're near Aventura Park. This is a Solano model, 2,376 square foot. See the front, we have rocks and some plants, very low maintenance. There is a sprinkler system. Show you that when we're in the garage. Then on this side of the house, there's a pathway with lights that lead to the backyard. And the driveway is kind of small, it's not very wide. Get two cars in it. And they don't really have a different cutout for the driveways, they just have this curb that's somewhere between a cutout for a driveway and a curb. So it feels like you're going up or down a curb every time you drive up or down it. Nice thing is that light is on a photo sensor so it goes on automatically at night and the address is lit up as well um, the lights on the porch here they do not go on automatically but I'm gonna put a timer on them so that they do the porch you'll see we changed the locks and put an electronic lock on so we need to get more of this paint color which we know what it is we just have to get it from Sherwin-Williams and hopefully it matches good enough so on this side of the house, there's really just the wall for the backyard, the gas hookup, they still have the lockbox there, and then the electrical panel. This house does have solar. So the garage is kind of messy because we unloaded our storage pod we had from ABF. We haven't gone through this and put this somewhere, but this is basically the garage. Two car garage, maybe a little wider than our one in New Jersey. Here are the controls for the sprinkler system. There's a sprinkler system in the house. This is the control for the sprinkler system. It's an indoor timer, works on Wi-Fi. Um, got an app, you can see the app here. There's two zones, front yard, backyard I set up. Here's some stuff the homeowner left. There's a lot of exterior paint back there. There's only a tiny little bit of interior paint. So I'm gonna have to um, get this matched in order to fix holes and so forth. Some extra tiles, grout. You also have this circulating pump to circulate the hot water and you could set it on here so that it's circulating at certain times when you're more likely to use it so that the hot water comes out quicker, doesn't have to go through all the pipes. Also the whole garage is drywalled and has the, I think this is orange peel texture on it. Um, I guess they have to do these two walls in the ceiling because it's living space next to it, but then also this wall is done. Our house in New Jersey only had the wall that was against the house done. The rest, uh, and it wasn't even painted or anything. It was just drywalled and taped. Got to go in the back. Nice little walkway with lighting here. So you do have to pay for garbage, Republic services. $46, I think maybe a quarter, I'm not sure. Um, not too expensive, but we get one recyclable container and one garbage container. But they do come every week for recyclables, which is nice. Back in New Jersey, it was every two weeks. So this side yard is not finished. It's just dirt, a couple little rocks. Come over here to the backyard. There's one tree in the backyard. And then you have this artificial grass and some stepping stones. So it's not a huge backyard, but it's big enough for us and for the dogs. Over the patio, there is a mister. So that'll be nice when it's really hot out. And there's also a natural gas line for a grill. So come over here, there's this little patio area. That's where we're gonna put our fire pit table, iron table. And they put up these little wood fencing area here. Makes it a little nicer. And this is the patio area. You see it's pretty large right now there's a lot of junk there we're waiting to throw away and then this table used to be our kitchen table it's just out here for now we're gonna give that to goodwill because we bought a new dining room table um, but this is really nice because you have lights and then you do have a ceiling fan out here too and then some more of the artificial grass here and then on this side i put a hummingbird feeder up again this is just dirt over here i mean you are close to your neighbors but i mean you have a six foot wall it's not too bad, it's been quiet so far. 
Well, that'll do it for the tour of the outside of the house and the garage. Stay tuned for part two where we'll do an inside house tour. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below.